another group of true hibernators that lead more secretive lives than groundhogs are bats. With over 18 different bat kinds that include 1,000 species, bats are one of the most diverse mammal groups on Earth. In North America here, we have 44 species, and today we get the opportunity to see one of them up close here at the Leslie Science and Nature Center. So this is a big brown bat. They live all across the United States and Southern Canada and down into Central and South America. They're called big brown bats because they are different shades of brown and because they're one of the larger species found in North America with wingspans reaching over 12 inches. They'll eat moths, flies, mosquitoes, and even wasps. And they love beetles, which they crunch into with their strong jaws and sharp teeth. They use echolocation to locate their prey and to hone in on their target during flight. And if a bat can detect a single human hair, they're not gonna fly into your head full of hair. They're only interested in the insects nearby. As summer ends, brown bats eat as many insects as possible to put on body weight to survive the winter. After they gather together in caves or crevices and go into hibernation, their heart rates go from 400 beats per minute down to 25. Their bodies become cold to the touch, and their breathing is hardly noticeable. I know bats might seem scary sometimes, but that's mostly because many people don't understand them. Bats are amazing creatures, and they serve a very important role in keeping insect populations, like mosquitoes, in check. One bat can eat up to 8,000 insects in one night. Yes, bats are our friends.